Hi everyone, welcome to the dehaze video. Now I have hinted at dehaze throughout the course, I've actually just used it, but this video here will go into a bit more detail about how to use it, how to use it responsibly, and how to fix some of the artifacts it creates when it does its work. So this is before, this is after. Gets rid of that atmospheric haze, oh so good. Plus, it's super good for clouds. So also, I will show you how to use it within a mask, because we don't want the foreground, we just want the background and the mountains to be dehazed aka made more awesome. I'll show you how to mask and work with some of the more trickier skies. Ooh. I'll show you that it's not just good for hazy mountains and clouds, it's good for seas as well. Look at that. Ooh. Check out the sea spray down here, before, after. Very nice. And I'll show you that it's awesome for taking photographs of your supercar in the rain. Watch, look at all the drips. Oh, drippy goodness. All right, let's get started. All right, get started. Let's create a new album and we'll throw all our exercise files in there. Okay, we're gonna call this one Dehaze. I accidentally had one selected, so it's added that to it. Let's go in here. Now, if I hit just my backspace key, it's gonna delete it from the album, but not my photos, which is awesome. Let's add some photos to my album. Okay, and in your exercise files, there is one called 08 Noise and Dehaze. Okay, and grab all of the dehazes. Now I want to start with this one here, okay, this mountain range, and let's just drag the slider up. I've teased the dehaze loads in this course already, so like there's a bit more to get into it, obviously, okay, but let's just crank it up and let's see what it does. It's like, I don't know, it's spectacular, it's amazing. It is also really overused, okay, so you're going to leave this course and be like me when I first learned it, yoink, and have dehaze at maximum on everything. That's okay. You might need to get it out of your system. Um, but we'll kind of, you know, throughout this video, I'll show you how to kind of use it a little bit more consideredly. Uh, let's talk about what it's doing. It's basically just doing uh, up here, contrast and increasing the saturation. Okay, but it's not doing it, like contrast tends to do it just to the like really darks and really lights to kind of bring them apart, to kind of have more contrast. And the saturation, yeah, does what saturation does. But what dehaze does differently is that it's looking at all those boring old midtones, okay, that appear, okay, in the smoosh of clouds, okay, not right in the center, but like things like more like the highlights and the shadows, not completely black, not completely dark. I'm sure it's doing some other magic as well, but that's what it's doing contrast and saturation. Now, uh, have I reset all that? Cool. So the thing you need to realize though when you do it, if I crank it up, let's do it to like a acceptable overdone level, okay? And you need to zoom in because what you'll find is dehaze will add a lot of noise to an image. So I'm gonna to go to 200, okay? And can you start to see all the artifacting and stuff going on in here? Okay, let's go even deeper, let's go 300. Can you see it all? Like, let's do it, it's a low. Let's crank it right up. You see all those uh, junk that appears? Okay, pixelation, interpolation, okay. I'm gonna get it down to an acceptable level. There's still a lot of junk in there though. So, luckily, we have skills already for getting rid of noise. Okay, so I'm gonna close down my color. I'm gonna close down my effects. I'm gonna slow down, because I'm super excited about showing you this. It's just calm, deep breath, Dan. Okay, and we're gonna look at uh, effects, okay, dehaze. And then we can look at reducing noise. This is a JPEG, okay? One of the reasons it's got a lot of noise is because it's a JPEG, all this kind of artifacting in here. That's all right, we have to deal with JPEG's loads. So let's look at doing that. So dehaze up gives us that, but we can crank up the noise reduction, okay? The trouble with it, like we've learned before, is let's go until it, who remembers what the secret super duper secret handshake thing is to get that? Oh, you remember, you remember, option key on your Mac or the alt key on your PC. So let's hold that down and drag it up and it just gives us a bit of contrast, like that is cool, but very milky. So I'm gonna find the way before it's just somewhere in there and then I'm gonna go back up to 100% and see how good I did. Okay, how good I did uh, before, after. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, the clouds have got a bit soft, but the clouds, look at this. I don't know, loads of detail. And actually, <laughs> I forgot to mention what dehaze actually does. Well, dehaze removes haze, you know that. Our mist or fog or any sort of like, like distance kind of uh, distortion or fuzzing, <laughs> okay? Uh, but it gets used for all sorts. And I'll show you a few different ones in this video. Okay, so noise reduction, okay, it's got a bit soft so we can increase sharpening. Remember, 
part of the deal with using noise reduction often is increasing the sharpening. Okay, so before, after, love it. One thing it does as well is saturation increase, and I find that's probably too much. So um, let's go to color, and let's look at lowering the saturation, okay, just a touch, and probably a chunk for, actually I quite like the blues coming in here, but I wanna remove it from the sky. So remember, go to color mixer, I'm gonna use my target, okay, I'm gonna set it to saturation, and I'm gonna click hold and drag to the left, just to pull a little bit out pull a lot out before after the other thing I probably want to do is change the hue so I can change it down here to hue and say you I want to go towards towards that teal duva okay so I want to just nudge it that way nudgy nudge there we go before after oh okay I have made too many no <laughs> groany moany noises in this video I will try and stop man it's good huh cool huh uh, so that is doing it for like, it's great. There's a shot that's completely, everything needs doing. Every, everything's in the distance and has haze. Uh, but what happens when, if I use my right arrow, I'm gonna go back to fit. The one I wanna find is, I'm using left and right, not these ones, all these cool things to do in this video. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to take it a bit further because just dragging up the dehaze is good. Fixing the noise is good. But what happens is if you've got an image with you know, you want stuff out of the clouds, which is really cool, okay? But you don't want it doing this over contrasting the foreground. So we're gonna have to use our super duper new masking skills. And let's see, let's see what we can use. So I'm gonna say, let's select the sky. And it's gonna do a pretty good job. And it's up to you, like it depends on what you want to do. Maybe it is just this now. You'll notice that in mask of my sky, I have dehaze as one of the options, okay? And that might be enough. I probably want this as well. Okay, the mountains, I want to bring those a bit closer as well. Remove some of the distance. Okay, so I'm actually gonna apply it. Before what we did is we worked on the mask and then applied stuff. Let's do it the other way around. So we've got a sky. Okay, I don't want to make a new one. I want to add to this mask. Oh, there's an add button. Okay, and I'm gonna add with just the brush. Okay, size wise, uh, feather flow. So I'm gonna crank up the flow. The feather can be nice and fluffy as well because I want a nice graduation. Okay, and the size, yeah, looks all right. And you can see I'm just painting in. Oh, look at it come to life. I have to lower my brush size. I'm using my, remember, my wheel, scroll wheel. The other thing you might do is, can you see here it's a bit of, and I want it to be 100%, okay, which is the flow. I want to turn the flow right down. And what happens is it gets a little bit hard to see what it's doing. by clicking once, clicking again. It's just applying a little bit. It's applying 35 whatever that means, okay, just a little bit, maybe even bigger, just a little bit. If I keep going on this, do, 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 lifting my mouse and doing lots, it'll apply the 100%, it'll all be there. But if I have it down and I just do one little one, it'll just apply, let's say 35% of my flow. Needs a bit in there. Now I'm scared to check it. <laughs> let's have a look at how good Dan's mask was. So in red, it looks good. How do we check how bad it is? You remember before, down here you can say, show me black on white, uh, on white, on black. Okay, there's that one, there's that one. Oh, it's pretty good, there's my brush. You can see here the flow, I'm hovering above these now, and it's just showing me, which one did I pick? On black, okay, and I'm hovering above this, and it shows me, can you see the flow turned down? I can't really get over there, okay, but you can see the editor will zoom over there. You can see that, but it's just kind of like a little bit like less applied because the flow was very low. Uh, where the flow was very high on this right hand side here, it's on super extreme. All right, uh, so I'm gonna turn that back to color overlay. And there you go, I'm going to work on my dehaze. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, okay, to check out the noise, there's quite a bit of it. So I'm gonna go noise reduction, let's get a little soft, increase the saturation a bit. Remember, hold down the optional alt key to see. Doesn't work for sharpness, works for noise reduction. It doesn't work in the mask. Weird, well, there you go. Let's try it again. Maybe it's my version. Hmm, oh, we all learned something. Um, holding on the option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC is not committing it to that black and white, which could just be my version. I end up having these like beta trial versions, kind of, it's cool, but it also means sometimes they're not quite all perfect. All right, so a bit more noise reduction. 
little less sharpening. Let's go back out to fit. Now click once. Before, after. Oh, it's nice. Now another like advanced feature for using the um, dehaze is that the dehaze doesn't do it all. Okay, you can crank it up, but you can actually get a lot more out of it if you then go up to use your light features. Okay, remember exposure, contrast, highlights, especially some of these ones, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So let's have a little look at these ones. Okay, there's a lot more control. You're not just kind of stuck with like how much it applies. You can decide on kind of how it's done. Can you see that? Oh, look how overexposed potentially those were. Whee. Okay, so you've got a lot more kind of like finer control with these light settings here. The, there wasn't much in this one. Normally there's a lot more control. I'm going to lower the saturation because we know that dehaze probably adds a little bit too much before, after. Cool, huh? All right, love the dehaze. I want to keep editing this image, but I think that's fine for the moment because we've got more to cover because uh, it's invention, or at least it's namesake is dehazing, like removing that haze. But it's just great for clouds all the time, clouds. Actually, let's find one an image that we've done before, okay? So I'm going to go back to all photos, and then I'm going to type in, do I type in church? That's what I want to do. I know it's in a folder, and I know where it is, but I want to see if I can find it using the AI search. Oh, that was too good. <laughs> There's only one church, though, and that's not the image that I want. It is. Reset it. Be interested to know if yours turned up this one. I've hit reset command R or control R. Did we do this one earlier, or was I just messing around with it for this tutorial? I think that's the latter. Anyway, we're going to reset it. So Command R or Control R on a PC. If you can't find it, it should be in Limerick. Yeah, I'm going to go to Limerick. I'm going to go to G for Grid. And it's that one there. If you still can't find it, it'll be in your exercise files. I clicked on it and typed I. And the information says to me it's a dear 01. We have done this one. There you go. Oh, well, we're going to do it again. So we're going to reset it, go into it. And we've got some new skills. So I'm going to do some editing for this uh, stonework. So you wait there. All right, so that's my edit for the stonework. And what we had to do before is we didn't have masks. We didn't really have dehaze. And we had to kind of make a decision on like a balance between the sky and the foreground. Okay, now we don't. Just ignore the sky. Get this looking good. Now we can go into our masks and say select the sky. Okay, show me the overlay. Looks pretty good. And um, let's go down to dehaze. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Dehaze. And let's just see what we've got in there. Oh, look at it all. Beautiful. <laughs> a little murky there, but okay. So remember, get it up, lower the uh, saturation because it's a bit too much. Probably need a bit more. And remember, you can get more out of it using the light options here. Okay, exposure, contrast. Let's have a little look. So start with dehaze and then kind of work. Oh, look at all there. Mm -hmm. Okay, humming to myself again, you know he's happy. Okay, I'm going to go too far, that's okay. I can either lower the mask amount, okay, to bring some stuff in that's a bit more subtle before, after, or go the full noise. Probably what I want to do is keep it, but lower the saturation of the blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my main edit. I'm not working on the mask now, because the mask doesn't have everything. It doesn't have the color mixer, which I like. So I'm going to go into the color mixer, Set the target for the saturation, and I'm going to grab you and just lower it down. Ho ho! And probably change the hue as well. Why do I always like a minty sky or the, a more turquoise sky? I don't know. Blue doesn't seem real, especially after a bit of dehazing. So before, after. Dehaze is amazing for clouds. And for me, I have a lot more clouds in my photography than I do mountain ranges. Even though that. This one here, where is it? That one there is, come on, Dan, you can go back to your uh, uh, dehaze. This one here is New Zealand. It's not, I'm not the photographer. Okay, this one here is shot by uh, Taylor uh, Lashtovich. Okay, that's in the South Island of New Zealand where I'm from. But regardless, I spend more time dehazing the sky. Now, we did an easy sky. Let's do a hard sky because you're going to do it and you're going to be like, it didn't work. And it doesn't work on everything. If it's just a milky sky in, you know, like kilometers or miles thick, it's hard to get the detail back out of it without it just turning to crust. Okay, so it does happen. But there are ones where you can get it. You just need a little bit of work. 
So I'm going into my dehaze folder or my dehaze uh, album. I'm going to open up this one here, the trickier one. Okay. This one's here called dehaze three. First thing I need to do is I can't live with the, without the rotation. So remember C for crop. Okay, let's see what auto does. Nailed it. Okay, I'm gonna go to rule of thirds. I'm gonna turn the grid on. It'll be easier to see the horizon line. Yep, I think it's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start with a crop and hit enter on my keyboard. Let's do a little bit of work for the foreground here. Exposure set quite low. All right, before, after, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this one. It's, it's a strange composition, interesting composition. I think I probably need to crop it again and she needs to be in the middle. So I'm gonna to go to center and I think this will make it a little bit more cohesive. Oh yeah, that did. Okay, so again, this one here, we're going to do a mask of, luckily the sky's gonna work pretty good. Is it? Yeah, we're perfect, a nice easy one. And if I go to dehaze and crank it up, it's just, it's okay, okay, but it gets just crusty real quick. So don't be afraid, just to get it up a little bit and then double back down to this uh, light settings, okay, like we did in the last one and just see what interestingness is in there. Oh, look at it all there, just appeared. Okay, so there's a chunk of information in the highlights. It depends what you want, like, I think the contrast too high. Okay, so don't be afraid to mask it up, do a little bit of dehaze, come up here and adjust these light settings. Okay, back to dehaze. And I'm probably gonna have to mix up the reduce noise. Let's have a little look. 300, too much noise. Let's have a look at our, it's kind of the most obvious down here. Up, sharpen this up a little bit as well. Can't really tell in those clouds before, after. All right, let's look back at fit. Okay, it wasn't my best example of a hard one, but, but you just gotta remember, dehaze, drag it up, do some adjustments, but then double back to the light settings. All right, another really good use for the dehaze is C. Okay, so let's use this one here. Okay, the ocean spray, all that sort of stuff fills the same sort of help needed by dehaze. Often there is a big uh, distance, you know, um, kind of fade. What do you call that? There's a word for it, distance fogginess. <laughs> you know it, uh, I don't. Uh, so let's have a little look. So I'm not gonna do any other edits other than dehaze. So I'm gonna twirl all these up. So have a look at dehaze. Let's just see what we get. Oh, there's lots of juicy stuff in there. Look down here. Okay, so with it off, crank it up. You can add haze, I have never done that. You might wanna add it for effect, okay? Some sort of artistic effect. But look at there. Nice, do we, are we happy with the extra saturation? Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Let's have a little look in here. All right, there was some nice stuff in the highlights here, can you see? Let's actually drag this back and forth. Can you see there was a nice, um, interesting information here that I want to recover out of the highlights here. Darken them down a little bit. Okay, before, after, the C responds well to dehaze. Now something else that responds to dehaze really well is drips. So I'm gonna open up the Lamborghini from the exercise files and it doesn't matter if it's like dripping down the side of a frosty beer or beer, beer, Beer. My wife thinks uh, I say beer, like the grizzly beer, when I'm asking for a lager. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the water drops respond well. So actually let's go to fit and let's crank up dehaze. Okay, and they just, the contrast is lovely. Okay, it's probably a bit too much over here because I've, <laughs> I've dragged it to 100, but just have a look before, after, before, after. You can see here the sky did nothing. You might be like, dehaze doesn't work. Nope, that is the thick Irish uh, rain that cannot be penetrated. Not even by full maximum dehaze. Oh, <laughs> take it back. Okay, uh, there you go. 
So drips are really good as well. All right, so that's gonna be it for me harping on about dehaze. It's one of those things where it's very powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. So overcook it for a while, but then dial it back down, add it as like seasoning, it's like salt, not too much, it can kill the meal, terrible metaphor. But you get what I mean. Now to practice uh, the things that I've showed you, I've given you some examples. So I'm gonna go back to G for grid view. And by default, uh, Lightroom, or at least my version, is ordering everything by capture date. Okay, so what you can do down here is say, actually show me by the file name. Because it's these last ones that are for you. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, they are called uh, dehaze, well, seven, eight, and nine. So have a play around with them using the techniques you've learned from this class. And just to summarize, because this is a long video, if you've got a pen and paper, the general rule is, well for me at least, is to do your general light edits. That's the exposure, highlights, shadows, etc. Okay, then do a mask on the bit you want to dehaze. Dehaze it, remove the saturation, because often it's too much. Then go back up to that light adjustment, exposure, contrast, etc. Okay, to see what else you can get out of it. Then look at removing the noise and adding a little bit of sharpening. All right, so that is dehaze. Long video, good video. But now it's time for a beer. Which one does he mean? <laughs> Koalas, obviously. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on. Like and subscribe.